If you want to know how we installed the Anatole uh, 10 color um, 12 platen press that you see behind me, um, which took a bit of effort, stay tuned and you'll find out how we did it. Well, Happy New Year, one and all. It's 2022. Um, I hope you've all had a bit of a rest. Happy Christmas to those that uh, have really enjoyed celebrating that this year. It's been a bit cooler up here this Christmas, which has been nice. Um, but we're getting back to work. We don't start printing until next week, but we're back into the fray to uh, get a few things happening. And one of those things is the thing we've been waiting for for a long time. You'll notice that the press and uh, all the usual paraphernalia that we use to print is actually pushed over here, over near what we call the TARDIS, which is where we keep all our big screens. Um, so there's our eight color manual Vastex 2000 with uh, eight stations and um, our usual three meter tunnel dryer. And the reason that they're pushed over is because the rest of the print shop where we normally do the printing, which is in this whole area up here, uh, is empty. And it's empty for a particular reason. And that is that about, um, hopefully, about 4.30 today, we will be seeing a big semi B uh, trailer coming into the yard here uh, to be forklifted out. And we'll see uh, two huge pallets come in, about two meters squared, uh, with a new press, the Anatole Vault, that we've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, was going to be here at 8 a.m. today, but uh, got held up in Brisbane. Uh, so we're looking forward to getting that off and then beginning the install. Leapfrog Machinery will be up here. Uh, they're the reseller of Anasol equipment in Australia. And uh, they're brilliant as far as I'm concerned. They're a great company and uh, helped us out in a lot of things. And they'll be coming up to do the two-day install and to hopefully get us trained, get myself trained and, and the press operator. And uh, if things all go well, we'll be able to start to run uh, the auto press on Monday because um, we've got jobs backing up already. So I'm going to run a couple of uh, cameras in here, uh, hopefully with some time-lapse uh, recorders going, and we'll be able to see how the press gets put together. I know there's a bunch of Anatole install videos already on YouTube, but we thought we'd do our own one. Um, this is a Volt. It's a 10 color. That's an all-electric press. It's a 12 station. And LeapFrog have told me it's the first one in the country. And the first to be installed, I think there's two come in at the same time. And this is the first one to uh, to actually get its installed. So we're excited. And I think LeapFrog are excited too. Uh, so hopefully it'll be an informative and helpful video for you. Uh, thanks for sticking with us last year and for your comments and help and questions. Um, we're looking forward to another great year of printing. And hopefully lots of good peeks at the press and lots of nice t-shirts, hoodies, polos, etc. out the door. Okay, talk to you soon. So it's nearly seven at night and we're starting the first unload. Uh, the truck came in the B double. And we're finally getting somewhere. How exciting. Wow, here it is. So there's the print heads. Coming out, finally. Two and a half ton weight there. Amazing. Look at that. This fellow here from J and K, Paul, the owner, big transport company. It's been up since 3 a.m. Almost there. Um, this is bigger than I thought. I suppose that's all right.
How are you feeling, Howard? Oh, great. Fantastic. Been a good bit, day bit, for bit you? tired, but uh, we've, we've done it. Achieved it, so that's good. That's good. Wow, it's been a long day. <laughs> but we've just finished getting everything in. Uh, the driver came with a B-double and kind of got a bit stuck. And Yeah, anyway, Howard has saved the day as usual. So I'll just show you what we've got in, ready for unpacking tomorrow. Um, so there's all the uh, platen arms. Here's the core unit that's bolted to a pallet. So if you ever get one of these, you need to be ready to unbolt it and get a forklift to lift it up and slide the pallet down and drop it in. It's not in absolute position yet, but it's close. We already marked out the position we thought it needed. And, uh, but we'll get a pallet jack tomorrow and move it in. These are the heads. So each one of these is a print head with its respective motor. We'll start on tomorrow, I guess. There's another couple of print heads. And that box there, I think, is the flash unit and the new exposure unit. So that has been hard work. <laughs> but uh, Leapfrog have seen us through and got us in, got us started. Um, it's been a long time coming, but it's just great to finally have it in the print shop, which is now being dwarfed. But hopefully we'll we'll get a start on it tomorrow and see how we get on. So yeah, thanks for watching so far. Ooh.